I like to fish in the early spring uh, for striped bass. I like to use diamond jigs. I like to put a teaser on there. I know I catch about half my fish on a teaser. And I use a tactical clip to attach all of my lures so I can easily slide them on and off. I want to change the color of my tubing. I want to put a bucktail on there. Um, and then I put a drop of loop where I'll put my teaser on there. So the same thing if I want to change the color of my teaser, I can do. And then I finish it off by putting the end of my leader on a barrel swivel, which will tie to my end of my braid. Normally what I do is I start with the drop of loop. Um, this way I can gauge, once I make the drop of loop, I can figure out how far I want the end to go to the actual diamond jig. And then I can figure on the other side how far do I want to go up to the barrel swivel depending on the size of the rod I'm using for surfing reasons. So I'm going to start somewhere in the middle of a drop a loop. Really simple. I start off with three fingers. It's always worked for me. I lay it straight across here, hold it down with my thumb. And then I wrap it once. So now I got one, two, and a third time holding it with my pinky. I have three lines. And then all I'm doing is twisting the two outside lines and never touching the middle. So I'm just giving this feeding this up a little bit to make room. And then I'm taking these two outside and I'm simply just going inside out one. I do it three times. Two, three, two and a half. How about Fifty pound test, so it's and it's a little cold out, so it doesn't have no play. So I have uh, right now a loop here from the three twists I made on each end, and I still have the middle line here, and I'm just simply using my fingers to pull that middle line through. I keep my thumb in here to keep that straight, and then I start pulling on both these tag lines and trying to gauge how long and how high or how far out I want that drop of loop. And it's right about there. And what I'm going to do here is moisten it. And then I'm just going to pull these two ends tight and then let them cinch down. And now I got a nice drop of loop. I use this for my high-low rigs. It's great. I put the hook in here so I can change the hook size. And then I'm going to use this to put my teaser on there. So now that I have my teaser on my drop of loop, it's going to lay about here. And now I'm going to gauge how far do I want my main lure to be. And I usually like to have it about four or five inches. It usually works out pretty good to me, maybe a little bit more. So somewhere around here is what I'm thinking about six inches is where I want to tie the end of this. And I'm going to do that with a, I'm going to tie the end of this now to a tactical clip. I'm just going to feed this line through my tactical clip this is a, a cinch knot. I'm just going to feed a cinch knot and create a cinch knot. So I got about the area I want this. Right up where my thumb was. I roughly want it about here. So I'm thinking if I have this is where the end is. This is where my teaser is going to fall. I have this. My teaser is going to fall. At the end of the day it's about 5-6 inches. And I can always adjust it. That's why I like to do the uh, loop knot in the middle and start with that so then I can figure out the other sizing. And here I'm just going to use a cinch knot. I'm going to have it in here. I'm going to pinch it down with my hand, my thumb and my pointer finger. I'm going to take this tag line. I'm going to wrap it around three times. It's a 50 pound test so three times usually works for me. If I do any more than three um, I find it's very hard to cinch up the knot and then um, I kind of actually weaken the leader by cause I getting too much heat or too much uh, pulling on it to get it down. So once I wrapped it three times, I'm just simply going to feed this through the loop that's remaining. And if you don't know how to tie this knot, I'll put a link in there. I'll show you a tutorial on there. I pop it in through here and then I pull through the remaining loop. And then I start giving it a little bit of tug. I don't want to get it too tight, but I don't want it to fall apart. And then I'm going to moisten. At this point, I use a nail. I usually put a nail onto my workbench, so this way I can put the tip 
in here and it can help me cinch it down because it's a thick leader I like to give it a little help and I like to as I pull I like to give it a little bit of a push while pulling on this tag line I'm feeding it through I'm feeding it till it's until it's tight and then I'll take the tag line often with a pair of plies and I just pull it in the opposite direction and then I let it cinch and I just kind of helping it up helping it up now that's tight If I come back here, that's a tight knot. I get rid of the extra tag. Now I'm left with my tactical tip clip. I got about five, six inches, and then I got my leader coming in here. Uh, my uh, loop knot where I'm going to put my teaser on. And then from here, I just figure from the middle. How much do I want to have from the one end to my pole? Just figuring I want to start the spring probably with my lighter pole. It's going to be about seven foot pole. So I'm probably going to leave another maybe foot from my drop of the loop to where I'm going to tie this onto my main line. So I forget, I just put my finger here where I'm going to go. I take my barrel swivel, which I'm going to attach to my braid main line, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to feed this in down the middle, feed it up to about where my thumb was, give me a good spot, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I want to put a clinch knot in here. I find a 50 pound leader, three wraps with my clinch knot is more than enough to keep that thing solid. Never lost the rig, never lost the fish. So it's worked for me. I wrap it three times. I stick it through the loop that is left here. Then I'm left with this loop. I just pull it straight through and then I just start tightening it up a little bit. So I got to about this tight. Again, I'm going to get it moistened. I'm going to go back to my nail. It works for me. I'm going to put the end of my barrel swivel around there. I'm going to grab this main line. I'm going to start tightening and helping it tighten and helping it push up. I'll take a pair of pliers. I'll grab this tag if it allows me. I give that a little pull. You can see it tightening up. Tightening up, tightening up. That's pretty solid. I got a nice knot on here. And then I'll cut off my tag line. Now I got the barrel swivel to my main line. I got about a foot of leader. I come up to my dropper loop. And then I come up to my tactical clip. And then what it will look like when it's all done, I'm going to pan this out a little bit. Now I could just take my diamond jig, put it on my tactical, and then I take my drop a loop, and just pinch it down a little bit, and I'll feed it through my teaser then I got this loop I'll push it through here clear it pull it tight and now I have a diamond jig I got my teaser dragging behind it and then I come up to my barrel swivel which I'll just tie on with like a Berkley loop knot. To me, that's the best, quickest, easy knot. That's it. I like this. I can come out here, change the color of this, change the color of this, pop them off real easy. And that is my go-to springtime lure that I'll use. Diamond jig with the teaser chaser.